Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Michael Asford from Denver, Colorado. Hi, Michael, how are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Welcome, uh, uh, thank you for being here. I, I appreciate it, Meher. Thank you. So Michael is currently the director of marketing at the receptionist in Denver and has spent the past decades building and leading marketing teams at companies large and small. Michael's approach to marketing focuses on scaling companies through the power of storytelling and humanizing brand. So in that sense, my first question for you is, Michael, in terms of branding, we know that every company has a brand, you know, Nike, uh, just do it, and the, and the check sign. But for personal, uh, and we know that personal branding is important, your social presence is important, but for job, for some job seekers, that is still a mystery. They don't know how to start their personal brand. So what tips do you have to start a personal brand? I would say, you know, a personal brand is nothing more than the things you care about. Mm -hmm. And, and so many people in, in past generations, I would say mm -hmm. made their job, what they did for their career, their identity. And I think a, I, I equate a personal brand separate from what you do for work. It mm -hmm. can be the same. Yeah. It, it, it can be the way that you make money. But your personal brand is the makeup of who you are, not in particularly what you do. Mm -hmm. And so the things that you care about, the, a, a personal brand is when you lean into those things and you you go in and 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 create create your world, <laughs> really separate from from your identity as an employee at a company. And again, not saying that that you can't uh, you can't uh, attach your personal brand to what you do for work. But for me, if I if I look at at myself, yeah, um, I am a very curious person by nature, yeah. um, who who loves storytelling, and so my personal brand and, and storytelling in such a way that, um, you know, we can we can be self deprecating, we can be um, vulnerable and open and honest, and and get around the the marketing speak so so to say you know so much of so, social media for instance is putting on your best face and putting your best foot forward out there for the world to see and that's not truly who i think a lot of us are mm -hmm. so um you know storytelling from the aspect i you said in my bio i, I want to humanize people i want to humanize the brand i want to humanize myself to people and the best way that i know how to do that is to bring the things that i'm most interested in to the forefront and let you know that this is the makeup of who I am as a person. So do you think that if someone's uh, personal value is curiosity or creativity or being authentic person, do you think that if they talk about those subjects online, especially on LinkedIn and share their thoughts, will that be kind of they're sharing their personal brand? I think so, but I think you that can very quickly get into feeling, I'll say, icky. Mm -hmm. uh, if if you try to like, what are you doing it for? You know, if you're if if you're if you're doing, we have we have very much gone to oversharing as well. I, I'm of the belief that you know, there are some things that are private and should be kept private, and and you as just a a random person who stumbles upon my LinkedIn account or my Instagram account or my Twitter, don't get access to my life mm -hmm. in these specific ways. Yeah, there are like there are boundaries that we need to set, and also there are expectations that we need to have looking at other people and saying, you know, while I while my natural human curiosity may be interested in how much that person earns or what's their family life like, or what does their living room look like? <laughs> you know, I've, as I sit here behind a, a fake wood panel here, um, there are things like we, we, we have seen so much of that recently that I think we have become to begun to expect that of people that they share those personal details of their lives. Mm -hmm. If you're comfortable doing that, I guess so, but don't, don't bend to that pressure. Mm -hmm. And make it truly what you are about. Mm -hmm. uh, make what you share in service to people. Mm -hmm. Do it so that you are helping people, not just 
I'm exposing my world for you for no other reason than I simply want to expose my world to you. That can feel very icky to people and very uh, uncomfortable, I think. And just one last thing in terms of for because a lot of my audience is for job seekers, international students or immigrants. Is there anything specific they can do daily or once a week or twice a week on LinkedIn that they can start putting their personal brands out? One of the things I would say is um, take the things that you care about, the mm -hmm. things that that we've already discussed, you know, the the makeup of who you are as a person and begin to give your perspective mm -hmm. of what's going on in the world from your personal lens, through your experience, through your lived truth. Yeah. Translate that for us. Mm -hmm. Give a unique perspective. Don't just just don't just post, you know, think boy comments about AI and chat GPT and Bitcoin, mm -hmm. but give us a lived experience interpretation of what's happening in the world and mm -hmm. why it should matter to other folks. Mm -hmm. Begin to begin to draw those, uh, draw that out of us, draw that out of yourself, draw that out of, out of other people, because stories are the ways that we connect to people. So uh, that would be one thing I would say is just, you know, begin to share the world through your perspective and lens. Mm -hmm. Thank you for those great tips, Michael. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Michael a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. Kind of a journey with us the whole week. You can like, share, put your comments. So tune in next time for another great question with Michael.